Good morning, viewers. Uh, we're in High Street Armadale, which I've got to say is one of the most, perhaps, unique uh, stores promoting African goods called Just Africa. And on my uh, right here is Cecil Joffe, who's uh, been in the business for how long? Well, we've been in the business for nearly 40 years now in one venue or another. Uh, we started out in Johannesburg. Right. And we've had an outlet similar to this and a business established there in the UK. Uh, for over 20 years and now we're in Australia right. and enjoying it. So whereabouts were you born or resided I, in uh, Africa? I grew up in Johannesburg and that sparked my interest in things African, African culture and African art um, and it grew from there. Uh, I met my wife in Johannesburg and she was very much into this sort of thing and uh, because we were both trained in the craft sort of uh, aspect right. of things we had a natural sympathy for things that were made by hand. Well, quite interesting. And one of the reasons that Just Africa became a sponsor of our site was uh, due to the fact that John Elliott is a very big collector of elephant ties and elephant um, pieces from around the world. I mean, he's probably got more elephants uh, than you've got here, but you've got some interesting uh, pieces. So this is not really just a low-end gift. This is a, an antique, not an antiquities, but a, a good cross-section mm -hmm. of authentic African. I think you've, you've got it in one. I mean, what we try for is authenticity. Mm. Um, things that we have are made in Africa exclusively in any number of countries, literally from Cape to Cairo. Um, but they all come from a tradition, a cultural tradition, right. where people make things to use. They're made by hand. They're more often than not made with natural materials that occur right. locally in the area that people live. Mm. So, in terms of your client base, do you see that as a, a wide market or you take particular niches uh, um, as a successful there market? There are different aspects of the business. Some of it is very specialised. Um, Such as? For example, things like the masks or figurines, which are sought after by collectors of African art specifically, right. but that doesn't exclude people who are looking for a focal piece in their interiors or for, for right. doesn't exclude interior designers from selecting um, mm -hmm. important pieces that will go into somebody's home. Right. Um, from that there are also more general aspects where we cater to people's interiors in terms of textiles, soft furnishings, that sort of thing. So how do you, tell me, how do you promote yourselves? It's largely by reputation. Um, we find that almost 97% of people who come here come back and we try to emphasize the authenticity of the pieces, the craft aspect, the handmade aspect. What they're buying is something that they won't necessarily find anywhere else in Australia and possibly won't find easily anywhere else in the world. And, and how long have you been in High Street Armadale? We've been here for six years but this particular establishment is nearly 20 years oh, old. Right. Um, we took it over from somebody who started out selling stone sculptures from Zimbabwe and had more or less come to the end of the line and we moved in and it broadened our oh, yeah. sort of base to include many different African countries and sourced things from those countries. Well there you go viewers, if you want to see some very interesting original African artwork, artifacts and some very interesting uh, homewares, this is the place to come. High Street Armadale, and you have a website? We do have a website, it's justafrica.com.au and uh, people are welcome to have a look. It's not as good as coming in in person, but if you can't no. come in, it's, it's a really good representation of what we carry. And uh, I have to say, we do have elephants. Well, John will be pleased about that, but I don't see any elephant ties, so perhaps he, <laughs> I better not buy anything without his authority. <laughs> Now, you, tell me, you don't have any online ordering system, do you? Yes, we do. Well, there People you go. People can buy directly from the website. Right. Um, it's quite a convenient way of doing business for them and for right. ourselves. Well, thank you very much, uh, Cecil, for having us and to meet the other members of your family. And uh, I feel as though we are in Africa, not, not the uh, suburbs of Melbourne. Well, thank you, viewers, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, Peter. Not to be outdone, they did find a, uh, an elephant uh, piece, a very rare one in their... Uh, Obviously, everyone has a back room. 
So John will be happy. So Cecil, tell me a little bit about this very interesting piece. Um, this is a mask of the Guru people from the Ivory Coast in West Africa. A lot of their masks represent animals, which are totems for those particular people. M a lot of importance is attached to um, insects or birds, things that fly and are able to connect our world with the ancestral world. And for these people, that's vitally important. Um, most decisions that they make that are crucial to their lives will not be made without consulting an ancestor in order to see if they're, for example, marrying the correct person or setting up a business that will uh, be viable, moving house to a better place. So um, their, their view is that the ancestors have been there and they've done that and so by consulting them they'll have the benefit of that advice. They also believe that the characteristics of the animal can be imbued in a person yeah. and so the elephant would for example represent leadership strength uh, strength of purpose as well um, very much like John Elliott exactly <laughs> that's why he likes so you're saying the bird at the top is perhaps more is the symbolic uh, part of this feature the bird is the ancestral spirit watching over the present day right. so that's why you'll always find it at the top of the mask um, this particular mask is exceptionally well carved um, it's always as in, in the African tradition carved out of one piece if Isn't you it? asked a Western sculptor to do this, they'd probably carve the pieces separately and assemble it. Wow. That's not in the African tradition. And so you find that the expertise in carving wood is, is extremely so good. So for this one here, would you say that's the only one you've seen? Um, from you that? do see similar ones, but of course they're never the same. This right. one I think is quite unusual of its type. Mm. Um, not particularly old, but the question here is not about the age, it's about the quality of the item. And the authenticity. It is authentic, uh, obviously. Uh, um, one has to remember that something that's not very well made, but is antique, is still not very well made. That's right. Whereas something like this, the quality mm. speaks of for itself and it'll be uh, lasting quality. In case John wants to buy, what sort of price should I tell um, him? This one is on display at $650, which is very modest well, for what it is. So if you've got a, a reasonable credit card limit, come to Just Africa. Indeed. Thank you. Thanks, Peter.